Okay, welcome back to more Let's Play Super uh, Hyper Metroid uh, Blind. Okay, time to redo the intro again. God damn it. Uh, okay, anyway, so um, we we're going to check this area out. I'm at full health, so I'm just going to run through all the enemies willy-nilly, because that's what we do. Oh, wait, we can check this now that we're here. Oh, I must have died. That's why this wasn't uh, revealed. Oh, you son of a... Oh, do I need the stupid... I need the ball dash. Uh, okay, but I'm assuming I can get back up. I already tried it in the other room. Yeah, there's... I, we can't get that. Okay, well, in that case... Well, we're already halfway through the room. I don't know. Let's just go this way. Uh, ugh, I'm telling you, man. As soon as I start recording... Like, where did that burp come from? Nobody knows. Um, okay, so I guess we can go, let's go up and uh, check what this dot is. And if this doesn't lead to anywhere, we can check out uh, Norfair again. I should be able to uh, go somewhere else with the, uh, uh, with the high jump boots. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, did I check this whole room or did I just go to these two tiles? I don't remember if I checked the other areas before I died. Uh, I mean, I yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. But uh, we have a door. Let's go this way. Oh, this is the room that has the dot in it. I think, right? Let me just take a look. Okay, yeah, it's right here. And also, if we go right and down, there might be a secret. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't have the bombs. Uh, I don't think. Wait, nothing down here? Uh, okay, suit yourself. Oh, man, boy. Uh, I finished my first week of uh, third shift. Wait, are we getting two power-ups per uh, per guy? That's pretty cool. And like I said, I'll probably stick with it for a while, but man, that job, ain't, that job ain't no freaking joke. Oh, wait, let's check the... Uh... Oh, apparently I totally missed that there was even... Oh, this was uh, the one way we fell, we fell down. Uh, from here, I think, right? We have to try to not fall uh, when we go back. Oh, is that worth trying? Should we try that? Oh, let's go left and up. Let's check that first. Because I'm pretty sure that's where uh, where we needed to bomb through. And they had, like, the very obvious uh, tiles. And I think in the last one I mentioned that, um, you know, like, early on in the game, when there's, like, something you hit, like, when you get a new thing, they make, they have some, like, obvious tiles to, like, help you get started or whatever. So I'm pretty sure it was right here. Oh, god dang it, yeah. Yeah, I guess I should have known that that was a possibility. I didn't even think about it. All right, whatever. Uh, I'm guessing, well, we defeated Spore Spawn last time. Do we get... I mean, do we got the high jump boots last time, but was that our reward for killing uh, Spore Spawn? I actually don't uh, remember. But uh, we should be able to uh, go more places in uh, in Norfair. But then again, maybe I need to uh, maybe I need to go to Brinstar to get the various suit. But there's no rule. I mean, like it's not 100% guaranteed. Wait, why are we going this way? Apparently, we're going this way. Let me just let me just go up here for a minute just to look at the map. Because it's possible that we should probably see about getting the the uh, the various suit before heading back to Norfair. Oh my god. Uh, does it show where the boss is? Man, the boss is all the way up there. We can go check that in a minute. Let's make sure that uh, that we can't progress in Norfair. We're closer to Norfair, so let's check that first. Um, but yeah, like I said, I I did one week, and man, I mean, I make good money. You get two extra dollars for working third shift, so... So, I, like, with the two dollars, like, incentive pay or shift premium or whatever like i'm making it's uh it's 2748 which yes it is like a lot i guess but you know in terms of single it's good single person money but holy shamoli the job that i'm doing like i am earning every freaking dollar of it like there's some jobs that are like easier than others but because the union all the jobs like pay like the same but like once you have that like reputation they're just like, oh, let's put him on this bitch job where he works his fucking ass off for the same money. 
So it's like, man, I'll do it for a while, but I ain't gonna do that shit forever. Fuck that. It's kind of like, oh wait, I didn't have the bombs. I couldn't go this way. Is that, okay, I was about to say, is that part, that could be power bomb too. Uh, okay, well, I guess let's uh, check this way. But uh, yeah, there's definitely, I mean, it's kind of like, to try to give you like an idea of what it's like, just imagine if like, if you're like digging ditches and then like the person next to you is like sitting in a chair stuffing envelopes and you're both making the same money, you know? Eventually you're gonna be like, you know what? I think this is my, this feels like a little bit bullshit, you know? It's a little bit, a little bit of that boom boo, you know? That boo boo, as Dashy says. Ooh, I knew there'd be a, another secret. There's like the regular way it wants you to go and then there's like the, the more secretive way. They also uh, increase the speed of the uh, x-ray scope. That's actually nice. That's a nice quality of life uh, change. Uh... Oh, so this didn't lead to anything. Now we're right back here. What was the point of that? Okay, hold on. I'm not convinced. There could there's could still be something. Because it goes faster, there's a chance that I might have, like, overlooked something. There could just be, like, a single tile up or down in, like, this little area. So, I mean, I, I, I accepted my fate a long time ago that I'm just going to work harder than, than, like, you know, like, most regular workers or whatever and make the same money or close to it or whatever but what like the the difference in the workload is so ridiculous that it gets to a point where it's like you'd almost have to be like a like a sucker to do it so like i said if you're the one digging the ditch for the same money as the person stuffing the envelopes who's the sucker in that scenario oh geez how do i get out of here oh this block that was a really good use of uh Oh, wait, I can't... Oh, my gosh. We have, like, reverse invisible blocks. I mean, that's a little... It's a little creepy, but I'll be okay. Just to have, like, invisible stuff. I remember in the base game, there's a, a part where these, like, boulders just, like, fall out of the ceiling. Uh, and then... Well, the ones in Meridia, you at least... They're at least, like, coming out of a thing... But then, the ones in Criteria, they literally just, like, appear. They just, like, spontaneously appear, like, out of nothing. And so that was, like, a bit, like, unsettling. Okay, so don't go down there. Well, you're not going to. Like, by the time you've... By the time you've come this far, you're already, like, checking, like, all the time or whatever. You're checking every couple of seconds, so you're obviously not gonna go down there. Uh, okay, or maybe I have to go down here. But then it just leads to the... It just leads to here. Huh. It's uh, quite a mystery on... It's, man, I really... I, like, I'm really, like, digging this game. Like, they're making it, like, uh, like hard to, like, actually escape. It's not just like, oh, use it one time. Oh, find the one tile, and now you can leave. Like, I must have, like, overlooked something. Oh, wait, what's that? There's, like, a, there's, like, a black tile right there. Oh. Oh, I just had to kill the enemies. There was that guy up above. I just had to kill that dude to open the door. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty uh, pretty cool room. Uh, I can just go up here, all right. Oh, this just connects to here. Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, I still kind of want to go... Can we go back all the way down and go to Norfair? I still want to do that. It's pretty easy to just fall down. This way, it'll only take a second. But I guess on the positive side, it took uh, so long for them to move me or whatever that uh, when you when you switch uh, jobs or whatever, switch stations, uh, you have to wait uh, four months before you can uh, switch again. But then 
from the time you get you quote unquote get the bid, that's when the timer starts. So if it takes if it takes them like two months to move you, you only have to wait two months before you can bid again. I was about to say, is the lava drained? But no, it was right here is where I died. Oh, I can actually make these jumps now. You can check what's up here. Um, I mean, we can probably go left or right. Um, oh geez, uh, I don't know, left or right. I don't know. Let's check the door. Maybe it'll be a green door. Maybe we can't go this way. Oh god, dang it! I don't know. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go left first. Oh you! Oh jeez! I was about to say you son of a bitch. I thought it was gonna make. I thought it was like that. Oh jeez. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's not go down there. Yeah, the stupid stalag jam. Like effed up my jump. Okay, well, that makes the choice easy. And uh, back ends we go. Oh, but yeah, that job kind of does the, uh, that line. Like, some, you know, there's different, like, there's different, like, I don't know, like, work cultures or whatever, depending on which line you're on. And this particular line, they're, like, super, like, hardcore about, like, they call it pushing the line. It basically means, like, you're, like, pushing to get, like, motors through, like, quickly or whatever. And, you know, like, they're, like, they're, like, yeah, our, our shift gets, like, the most. And then, like, second shift gets a pretty good amount, too. And then, but then, like, first shift doesn't get, like, nearly as many as us or whatever. I'm, like, yeah. And it's, like, other than the, other than the, uh, other than the, uh, the, the shift premium, everyone's check is the same, so... You're just working, you're just pushing through more motors to make, like, the same money, so. So it's like, don't overexert yourself, like, don't work your freaking fingers to the bone for, like, no extra money. It's, it's kind of like the same thing that I've seen in, I worked at Taco Bell for over a decade. And it was, like, the same kind of thing where, like, that job's even, like, you know, you're super mega overworked and, like, super mega underpaid. Uh back when I did it or whatever, but, um, you just, like, you just, like, you work your freaking ass off, and then you just, like, but then, like, at the end of the day, you're just, like, yeah, we did it, we made, we did a $600 hour or whatever, like, we, we handled that bar rush, and, you know, we're, like, you know, like, like, we, like, we don't or whatever, but, I mean, it's the same, it's the same thing in, like, re in the restaurant business in general, like, line cooks or whatever, they'll just, like, work and work, they'll just get slammed, and they'll just bust out all the orders or whatever, and they're so proud of themselves, and afterwards, they're, like, high five and be like, yeah, we did it, man, we did it. I'm like, yeah, but you still, like, overworked. You're still, like, not... You're, like, you're still, like, underpaid, so... So, like, you know... You're, you're, you're working way too hard for, like, not very much money, so, like, is that really something to be, like, that proud of? You're just proud that you just, like did the work of of 10 people with only six people it's like but you just overworked so like why are you excited that you got to do that it's like yeah you did it but it's like there's other jobs where you could you can make more money make like working less hard oh man where should i go i should just find a place what about this area off to the right let's check that out okay let's see what we got in this store oh the store is open now hmm why would that door be open? Is it because I defeated Spore Spawn? I'm not entirely sure, but for whatever reason, it's open now. Um, but anyway, I, I mean, obviously, I'm not like I'm not like denigrating like restaurant workers or like line cooks or anything. I mean, like I said, I did it for over a decade. But I'm just saying that like, if you're gonna work yourself to death, you should at least like be paid for it. You know, like it's dumb to just work your ass off and then like have nothing to show for it. You know, and if you're if you truly believe that you're being underpaid. Then you should go somewhere where your employer respects your time and respects like your effort and whatnot because by you continuing to stay there you're sort of voting you're, you're basically saying like i'm okay with what i'm being paid because i'm going to continue to come to work 
So the fact that, like, you keep, com you know, if you keep coming to work, but then keep bitching about how much you make, it's like, well, at the end of the day, you keep showing up. So why should they pay more, you know? I guess what I'm saying is that, it, like, if you're working your fingers to the bone, then you should be, like, compensated properly. And in and if you're not, then you continue and you continue to stay there. I mean, at, you know, when you boil it down, you're basically just like a sucker, you know? Like, they're just, they're you're being taken advantage of, like, willingly, you know? It's kind of like when people complain about how expensive something is, and then they buy it anyway. So if there's like a handbag or something, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's $4,000, that's ridiculous. And then you're like, all right, all right. And you grumble as you buy it. It's like, yeah, well, the, the sale counts just the same. Versus if you thought it was a great price and bought it, they made the same amount of money. So why would they, like, why should they lower the price? Just because you bought it, like, reluctantly, or you were angry, but you still bought it. It's like, yeah, well, you still bought it. So you're still, you still agreed to pay that price that they wanted. So as long as you, people are willing to pay it, why should they charge less? Is there some way to, to like get up from here? Oh, by the way, I did notice. Oh geez, I forget where it was. There was like a very obvious thing in the ceiling. Uh, where it had that like large crack that's like always a secret. Yeah, I totally noticed it when I was editing. Yeah, I totally didn't see it. And I don't, and by, at this point, I don't remember where it was. Okay, I guess I could check the bottom of this room since we're here. It's probably like just a penalty pit if I had to guess. Oh my gosh, it's water, but I can't see where the water is. I don't like not being able to see where the water is. Oh man, I can speed, uh, speed, um, what's it called? Speed item? <laughs> I talked about this in redesign. I always get the name of the, uh, the speed item, like, wrong. Is it, sp I always can't, I can't remember if it's speed booster or speed burner. I want to say it's speed booster. I think it's speed burner in... Mega Man X2, I think, is where I got, like, effed up. Wait, so what would be the purpose of speed, uh, whatever, through through those two tiles? Like, who cares? Maybe all the tiles are, no? I was about to say, maybe you could shine spark if all the tiles would have been speed, uh, boomerang thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, so that was nothing. I could go down into criteria. Should I do that, though? I don't think I need to do that. Let's check, um, what about the upper left corner of this room? That takes us up close to Kraid. We're probably, I could check that, or I could check here, or we have that, t that, um, that place where the ledge was jutting off. We're, like, closer to, uh, we're, it's probably time to kill Kraid. So I should probably start working my way up that way. So let's meet up in, uh, in that room where I didn't check the upper left corner. And we'll see if we can go that way. Oh my gosh, shoot. Man, that is a really hard jump to make. It was really hard to get up here. I don't think they wanted you to go this way. <laughs> but I guess they, they like left the door open just enough to where you could get there if you had if you had the skill or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I just didn't feel like going the other way. Oh, I didn't go to the upper left corner from this room over here. All right. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, that definitely was not the intended way to go, but... But uh, I'm guessing they they left it open so you could get up there. Like it was it was possible, but um, but it was not easy. Um, also realize that oh, I need the ice beam. I don't think I'll. Yeah, they put spikes there to keep you from wall jumping up there. Yeah, they definitely want you to have ice beam to get up there. Man, do I have to actually go to uh, Norfair? Because in um. In the base game, the ice beam is in Norfair. Yeah, see, you can't even go that way either. Hmm. I could just get a couple of bomb jumps. And my timing is so... It's like so bad because I'm used to the old... To the old bomb timing from the base game. And I can't even get one. That's still way too early. Still way too early. There we go. I got one. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh man, I can't believe I can't get up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's like not possible without without a bomb jump. I don't think we can actually get up there. Um, I could try. 
Maybe we just have to take the the long way, and then after we defeat Kraid, we'll we'll be able to like come back, and then this will be like this will be like the way out or whatever. Um. Okay. Well, we can keep going to the left. We can try. We can try that. Uh, that blue room, that rectangular room with the dot in the lower right corner. Was that a super missile? Is that why? Is that a super missile door? Is that why I needed it? Oh, maybe you need the high jump boots to get to this room above the save point. Maybe that's where the game actually wants you to have high jump boots to progress. Um, I guess I'll work my way there since uh, since this this way was a no go. Hey, look at that! I found a secret. I figure I could uh, use the x-ray scope a little bit on the way back. Uh, since I was like off camera or whatever. That way I don't have to like spend lots of time uh, x-raying everything on camera or whatever. Aha. I had a feeling this door would be opened. Oh no, but we're in water. No. Oh wait, it made a splash. But I'm not underwater. Huh. Well, I thought that I was going to have to go back up and kill that... Um. Oh, what's it called? What are those those dudes that just like go back and forth? Because in the room where I was trying to get that that hard jump a minute ago, uh, I found out that well, I like I kept running into them, so I was like maybe missiles will work on them, and uh, two missiles actually kills them. So I was like maybe I have to go back. There was like a vertical shaft that had some of those in it. I was like maybe I have to go kill that guy, but for whatever reason, uh, that one was uh, the door was open. So the only other thing that would have done it was killing uh, Spore Spawn, I suppose. Oh, man. Uh, well, this wasn't where I was going to go originally, but we're already, like, on the path. So I guess let's just keep going this way. Then if I'm ever able, uh, unable to progress, then we'll still go the other way. Uh, we'll still have, uh, we still have the other option, that's what I meant to say. Oh, these blue guys. I'm guessing regular missiles won't, won't work on these blue guys. Oh, they do. It just takes... Four. All right, fair enough. Huh. So no guys come out of this tube. Just a tube with no guys come out of it. All right. Yeah, that is that is nice that it moves up and down faster. Yeah, the the uh, the quality of life. Oh, geez, we're getting hurt. Okay, all right, all right. It's fine, it's fine. Let's get out of here. The, uh, the quality of life improvements are actually very much appreciated. My god, how much... Was that 50 damage? Okay, well, let's take out these guys so I can get a little bit of life back. Man, fitty. Fitty, man. Yeah, they definitely want you to have the the uh, the various suit at this point. I'm guessing it's not gonna be like careful. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're going back uh, the way we came. We can't even go in this left door. Uh, yeah, I'm just working my way. Over to there, right? I'm guessing this was a green uh, green door right here. In the middle of the screen. But okay, that was a nothing burger for now. So I guess let's just have me back. Okay, I'm actually to the left of the room that I said we we're going to meet back in. Just because I wanted to see if we could get up here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, well, there, there's a... Uh, assuming I'm correct that the circles are uh, gates. I wasn't sure if, um, if there was going to be a gate on the way to Kraid. So I didn't know if that was going to, like, open. Actually, did I check if I could go up from this right side? Should be able to make this. All right. All right, looks like we actually can go this way. I'm not sure if they'll put the gate that far away from the uh, the activator thing. Oh, geez. Well, we can't even go this way. And uh, just because this room is here doesn't necessarily mean that it'll connect from this way, from this direction or whatever. Nope. All right. Um, well, I guess uh, I guess let's go the other way. Um, yeah, I've been I've been X-raying the shit out of like everything, and now that I've had a chance to do that, uh, it is like I I kind of have mixed feelings about getting uh, the X-ray scope this early in the game. Like on the one hand, 
Oh my god, I still can't get that. We need super missiles. Did I somehow miss the super missiles after we defeated Spore Spawn? Did I go a wrong way or something? Like, was I supposed to, like, have them? Because I was thinking, oh my gosh, I got that got that bomb jump by sheer accident. I was thinking, I was like, did, did I actually get anything for defeating uh, Spore Spawn? And we can't go that way either. Oh, jeez. Um... I guess we have to go back to Criteria. I'm not seeing any other ways we could have gone. Man, Criteria is so far away. But I guess what I was going to say, though, is that it is nice to uh, get the X-ray scope, like, early on. Especially since I don't, like, know where anything is. But the, there is a downside to it. And, um... Uh, with that being that getting the x-ray scope early means that you could potentially just like x-ray scope everything and then like not miss anything like you're not like you could you could just x-ray scope everything and then like find all the secrets without actually having to like explore everywhere like you're not actually checking suspicious things you could just x-ray scope everything and then find all the secrets without actually having to uh like you're like you're not really discovering the secrets as much if you're just x-ray scoping it like you're not checking anything suspicious if you can just x-ray scope it and it'll just tell you if there's something there without you have it actually having to check, you know? So it does take some of the thrill of the discovery out. But, uh... But it also is nice to, uh... To have it this early on. Especially, like I said, when I don't know where anything is. Um, okay, so I guess it's me back in, uh, Criteria, because... I don't think there's anything here. I don't think we can go anywhere. Did I actually miss... Man, I really hope I didn't just miss... The, uh, there's no way I would have missed the power-up that we got from Spore Spawn, right? There's no way I would have, I would have just passed it, right? I don't even remember where it was. I mean, I know I got it when I was, like, I passed through that room when I was backtracking. I don't remember, like, which room it was. It's not marked on the map. Okay, this is the Spore Spawn room. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe this was the room, because it was a single-tile room that had a left, right, or up words way to go. But I just went this way, and then there was just a, uh, yeah, there's just a gate. I guess I didn't x-ray scope it. Is there any other secrets? Nope. Uh, okay, so we didn't get, like, an item from Spore Spawn. We just got, like, a gate. I mean, that's a little underwhelming, actually. I was kind of hoping to get something, but at least I didn't, at least I didn't miss it. So I don't feel as dumb for missing it, but, um, but, uh, okay, I guess, uh, I guess... Let's keep going towards uh, Criteria, I suppose. Aha. I was just hitting up the uh, save point that was close by, and there's actually a secret in here. All right, I'm guessing it won't be anything. Hmm. I could, uh, let me just make sure I saved it. I only have one energy tank. I guess the data won't let me save again until I exit the room. But maybe... I can cheese it and see what's up here. Oh, this is gonna be collapsible, right? Oh, god damn it. Alright, well, it was worth a shot. And now I have to try to not die on the way back down. Okay, shoot. Oh, it was right here. This is the room. Okay, I was just thinking a minute ago. Oh, nice. I was just thinking a minute ago. I was like, man, what if that secret is like the secret that like leads to progress? And I had no idea where that room was. Uh, okay, so we're back in Criteria. Where should I freaking try to go? I could try those two tiles down there. Does the left one lead to Norfair and the right one lead to Meridia? I guess we could try that room right there, that big one. What was preventing me from going that way, I wonder? Oh, I started the episode and I just went left. I just didn't go that way, I think, right? Did I? Oh, I don't remember. Whatever. Let's just go that way. Let's check that out. That's probably our best lead at this point. 
Okay, why did I not go this way? It's just a blue door. I just didn't go this way. Oh, all right, fine. Let's go this way. Oh man, we got this like Turian E looking area. It is kind of cool how it like, kind of like blends in. Like we're in Criteria, but uh, it's like the it's like the suburbs of Turian kind of spill out into uh, into Criteria. It's kind of cool. Okay, so we have to try to not fall until we get that dot. What if it's the power bombs, and then we can power bomb further to the left? Uh, I don't know what's below me, but I guess I have energy to spare if it's something that hurts me. Uh, okay, well, we are not getting up there anytime soon. Oh, I think I fell from here, uh, and then, like, died or something. Because I remember falling through... I remember falling through the ground here. But, like, something must have happened where it, like, it didn't get saved. Uh, okay, well, that's bad news, bears, because... I still can't, uh... I still don't have, like, a... Like, a place to go. Where else can we try? Um, I guess we could try the two tiles down... Down there, I didn't try those yet. I didn't even, like, I don't even know why I didn't go down there in the first place. But I guess let's uh, check that since we're already, like, uh, semi close to it. Oh, what about this? Aha! Okay, let's go this way. Probably just a missile pack, yeah. Hmm, you can just blow up all these blocks for no reason. I just want to check in case, uh, I'm not sure if this game is going to uh, do that thing where not every secret is revealable by the x-ray scope. Didn't I play a ROM hack where like half the secrets weren't shown by the x-ray scope? I want to say I did. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe I, I like, I, I vaguely remember making the comment. They're like, what's even the point of the x-ray scope if it doesn't show most of the stuff? But I don't know 100%. That could just be like a fake memory. Like, I'm not 100% sure if that's, if that was something that I actually, I thought or said. I can just go down here, alright. For some reason, I just didn't go down here. Um, okay. Oh, so the two ways just lead to each other. And nothing this way either, hmm. Well, on the map, why does it say Norfair to the bottom left and Meridia to the bottom right? I thought that may... Okay, whatever. Well, I'm assuming we're going to get, like, C-blocked. Are we going to run into the, the statue that's going to prevent us from... Oh, wait, can I just go left or right from here? I guess there's no wall, so yeah, I guess we can. Maybe this is where one way will lead to Meridia and one, we one way will lead to uh, Norfair. That's probably going to be Powerbomb in the other direction. But, oh man, yeah, I was right. Uh, because they want you to go one way first, and then later go the other way. So presumably you get the super missiles first, and then later you get the power bombs. It would make sense that they wouldn't want to allow you to access both ways, like right off the bat. That was, uh, that was why I thought that. Okay, so we can just... We can just go to Turian. I'm guessing we're not going to be able to make it very far. And the music is all quiet. It's, like, all spooky and whatnot. You know what? I'm going to save state just in case something happens where I, like, step through this door and just get, like, get killed or something since I'm not supposed to be here. Uh. Oh, my gosh. We're in water. Okay. There's no way that we're going to be able to, like, go very far. But we're at least, like, in the door. It's kind of cool that it, like, lets you in. Uh, let's try left first. I guess we'll just, uh, check this, like, check whatever we can here. And then, uh, we'll just probably start the next episode at, uh, whenever I find, like, the next progress thing. 
since I'm like out of options. I'll probably have to, like, there's a chance that I'll have to spend like a good amount of time looking around so I can do that off camera uh, between episodes. Man, we didn't make like any progress. I got an energy tank and a missile tank, but I think I got more than one missile tank. I either got two or three, I think. But I uh, didn't get any, uh, didn't get any like progress. Oh wait, I got, I got the x-ray scope. So that's not technically a progress item. Oh my gosh, this is what I need to, uh, to activate all the gates for. This is gonna be how we get in. All right, all right, I dig it, I dig it. So it did, I mean, it did say Turian gates, but I'm guessing it's also like opening like, it's it's also opening like the nearby gate and also that, and also uh, the gates in this room as well. Uh, okay, well, I have a homework assignment. I have to go around and uh, figure out like what to do. Which I think is possibly going to take a while because, I mean, I went to... Did I check? I'm pretty sure I checked all the places where, like, you could see that, like, the map connects to a room or whatever. I didn't check the upper right corner. Was I not able to get... Yeah, I don't think... I just don't think I could, like, jump high enough. What about... What about that room that looks like it's going to lead off to Meridia? I guess let's check that. If that's a dead end, then we'll just call it, and I'll have to just, like, look around to, uh, to, like, places where there's just, like, a room jutting off or whatever where I can't get to. Or, like, that room right there. That room by the up arrow. I went up two tiles, and I didn't do any. I didn't check anything else. I could check there, I suppose. But, like, we're starting to run out of options, so, I, like, there could be... It's possible that there's just, like, a secret wall somewhere that leads to something progress-related, so I'll just have to go around, like, all the maps or whatever and just check them all, so... That'll be really uh, time-consuming, so we'll just do that between episodes. So we'll just check this one last path, and then we'll uh, we'll call it for this one. Uh, okay, this is different. I don't know why these guys are here. Uh, okay, that's one-way fall tile or whatever. Man, so is wall jumping actually required? Oh, we can go this way. All right, let's uh, take a peek. By the way, uh, I noticed that, um, remember a minute ago? Oh man, I can't go this way. I'm glad I went. Oh, I don't have to go this way. Wait, I do have to go that way. Wait, what was that? Was that a story related uh, thing? Where you can just see that uh, space pirate for just a second? But uh, remember a, a few minutes ago, I made that comment where I thought we were going into water because I saw the splash on Samus's feet. I think that's just to indicate like a damp surface. Because I've been seeing it, like, all over the place. Uh, even in times where we're not going into water. So I think that's what that's supposed to indicate. Okay, well, we are not going this way. I'm guessing there's probably going to be some kind of new item. That's going to let us dash as a, as a ball or something. Um, I did also see in the description... Uh, there's, like, some kind of, like, new beam thing. So it's going to be cool to see what that is. Um... Okay, so I guess um, I guess I have to uh, look around and find something. So in the next one, um, we'll meet back. We'll start the next one with me finding something. And hopefully it's something that leads to progress, not just like an immediate uh, metal door like in the other episode. But um, we'll have to uh, we'll have to pick it up uh, in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please hit the like button, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.